Hello everyone, I'm Isabel for Deepthi Karya and today we'll discuss about the topic plasma of viruses. Now, what is plasma of viruses? This is the experiment to demonstrate importance of the plasma proteins, okay? And this was first carried out by Whipple in 1956 and therefore it is known as Whipple's experiment, okay? Uses of plasma viruses that is used to demonstrate importance of the plasma protein for survival. Also, we can conclude that plasma proteins are synthesized from liver. Okay. Now, how to perform plasma pharesis? Here you can see whole blood that is removed. You can see here that is removed, withdrawn from the animal or the person and cells are suspended in the same volume of ringer log or normal saline and then it is re-injected into the animal. Okay, and this is repeated and that leads to progressive decrease in the concentration of plasma proteins. Okay, and uh, this when the rate of withdrawn is more than rate of regeneration that results in decrease in the plasma protein level. Okay, so now some of the findings when we have performed the practical one that is a sudden decrease in the plasma protein. When, uh, when the this whole blood is removed with the plasma protein so suddenly there is decrease in the plasma protein after 15 minutes okay of the removal okay then after that our body starts producing plasma proteins as well as some labile proteins reserve they mobilize the plasma protein within two to seven days and therefore normal level reaches within two to seven days okay and when the plasma protein level uh, this that plasma proteins are normally formed uh, after if we are giving essential amino acids in the food okay but if we are not giving essential amino acids in the food then plasma protein concentration falls and when it is less than 4 gram per deciliter that is exhaustion of protein reserves and when plasma protein concentration is very low less than 2 gram per deciliter that results in shock and death of the individual okay now so here Whipple's uh, experiment suggested that there are three types of protein number one they are fixed proteins, fixed cell proteins. They will never move out of the cell, okay? Uh, or they, they will never mobilize. Even your plasma protein level is less than 2 gram per deciliter. Second is dispensable reserve proteins, okay? Uh, dispensable reserve proteins, they are called upon energy and other purposes in case of starvation, in case of catabolism, okay? This is amino acid food, okay? Reserve protein. And third, they are labile proteins. They... These are labile food. They move easily when plasma protein level falls. Okay. Now, what is the clinical significance of this plasma pharesis? By this experiment, we can conclude that if we, our diet contains essential amino acids, proteins uh, are, can be synthesized. Second, this is essential amino acids that are required for the protein synthesis. And dietary proteins are sufficient. Uh, next is dietary proteins of animal origin. Uh, they favor albumin synthesis. Fourth one that is dietary proteins, if they are from the plant origin, they favor global synthesis. Okay. Now, what is the practical use of this? This is used for the temporary treatment of various diseases like myasthenia gravis, thrombocytopenic purpura, Guillain Barry syndrome, Lambert Eaton syndrome, in those conditions, in those autoimmune diseases, because antibodies are produced against our own tissues. These antibodies are removed along with the plasma, okay, and uh, the new cells they are transfused. So this is the practical importance. So this is all about today's topic. If you wish to get all my notes in soft, soft copy, you can download the application Vesalius and subscribe for the same. And for getting hard copy, you have to order my book that is Physiology Notes available on Flipkart and Amazon. You can also join our WhatsApp group. The number is 7863822668. Thank you so much. If you like my video, you can like it. You can share with all your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you.